Whoa, and I almost fell out of that chair. Because it's Philosophy Friday. And the first philosophy is what can go wrong will go wrong. Comment down below if you know um, who said that and you'll get a sticker. We'll mail it right to you. So make sure you comment down below in the comments what will go wrong, what can go wrong, will go wrong. Right there. Who said that? So I want to start off talking about three things that are pretty related. Um, three different philosophies, three different outlooks on life. Um, one's a negative outlook. So I'm sure you all know that person who's very negative. You know, everything is always glass, always half empty. You give them a burger and they complain. They find a hair in it instead of just eating it and being happy. Um, you know, and the thing about being a negative person is you do actually there is some positive benefits for example um you save yourself a lot of heartache and a lot of rejection type pain because you never um you're always negative so you never take that first shot out there you know so there are there are some positive aspects to being negative you know you stay in your shell you never really get hurt but there are like long-term negative aspects of being a negative person and for one, first and foremost, is you're not going to be fulfilled with life. Because happiness, I believe, comes from, it's a byproduct of striving for the things you want to do. You know, making yourself better than you were yesterday. Like, if you just, like, party all the time, your happiness is going to go down. You got to be, like, working on something that's meaningful in your life. And when you're negative, you never actually get to that point. Because instead of working on something meaningful, you think of, a thousand different ways why it's gonna fail you know so that's not a good necessarily good way to be so the next outlook of thinking I would like to say is positive positive thinking you know we've all heard of like the secret and those people who like repeat like things in their mind a thousand times a day to try to make it come true because they're just really great positive thinkers the one thing that I've noticed about a lot of positive people is they actually have a lot of difficulty getting boots to the ground, you know, getting their plans into action. And I think that actually comes as a side effect, as a negative side effect of always being positive. You know, you always see things as easy, as doable, and you never like batten down the hatches and get to it. So positivity can have its um, drawbacks, but also, you do need to be positive because no, nothing was ever built like through negativity. Like there was that visualization, that creation in the mind, and that that's positivity. And also, like when you apply it to like your friendships and relationships, it's an it's also another benefit of always being positive. People want to be around you because they get like a boost. They get that positive boost. But I think. I personally fall on the positive side of things and I just have to be careful because sometimes I can let my positive outlook carry me to the clouds. So the third and final philosophy that I want to discuss is called realism, right? Um, and realism is pretty self-explanatory, it's realism. You know, you're not a negative person but you're not unbelievably positive. You have um, anything that can go wrong, will go wrong in the back of your head, right? But you're not afraid. You know, your mind is strong and you're positive to see all the different possibilities in life. So I think like in this crazy, uncertain world, instead of like encouraging people to be positive and negative, like when you tell people like be realistic, I feel like sometimes they get offended because they think like um, you're telling them they can't do something. But I don't think that's necessarily the case when you're a realist. When you're a realist, you just actually see things for what they are. And it actually does help you progress faster in the world because if you're living in some positive fantasy um, or in some negative hell fantasy, you're not going to get anywhere because you're not grounded in the roots of reality. 
So when someone tells you be realistic, don't ever take that like as an offense. Take think of that as okay, this person maybe thinks I'm not seeing the nature of reality for what it is. So I'd say realism is definitely the way to go. You know, you ground yourself in reality. You see the world for what it is. What can go wrong will go wrong, but you're positive and you stay strong. And that's literally how things happen and change in this world. So, one interesting thing that I've found in this like existence is there's always a dichotomy between things. Like everywhere you look, I don't know if this universe is like some special magic is built on dichotomies, but like you have sun and night, masculine, feminine, you know, you got positive, negative, hot, cold, dead, not dead. There's lots of different dichotomies. And the main dichotomy that people seem to get caught up in, either one way or the other, is positive or negative. And so many positive people find it offensive when you tell them be realistic because they feel like they're getting shot from the sky and they, they're you're sniping their dreams like Lee Harvey Oswald, you know what I mean? And then some people use their negativity, they stay in their shell, Every, they're afraid of everything and they never develop like their mental toughness to actually be a realist. So, just wanted to hit you up with some philosophy on this Friday, so um, let's like review real quick. What can go wrong will go wrong. Whoever said that, you know, comment below, you get a sticker. That's one. Negativity. It can actually keep you from doing things, but it can also be a positive force because it keeps you grounded sometimes. Positivity. It's a great thing because it can get you motivated. It can be your light in the darkest hour. A negative thing about positivity, though, is you can be on cloud nine and not get shit done. And, like, I'm pretty on pretty honest I see more people fall into the positivity trap than the negativity trap but that's personally because I've tried to cut out mostly all negative people from my life so I mostly see the ill effects of positivity so we got to bring it down to that balance which is realism and like I said don't be offended when someone says realism to you they, what, they, what they're saying is maybe you're not grounded with reality and if you're not grounded with reality how can, you, how can you accomplish anything if you're not grounded in reality? So, I guess realism's the way to go on this Philosophy Friday. You know, try to, try to look at the world in a realistic way, but I'll catch y'all next Friday.